tomorrow morning has also been dropped. And the Home Secretary, Mr Douglas Hurd, is being asked to hold negotiations on the threat of one-day strikes by firemen on Merseyside. The firemen are to be balloted on Monday, following the government's decision to cut 88 jobs from the brigade. But there's good news for the Burnley area tonight, as the postal workers' dispute that's disrupted postal services for the past few days has now ended. An agreement was reached this afternoon, returning the 148 strikers to work tomorrow morning. Under the agreement, suspended branch secretary Stuart Caddy of the Union of Communication Workers will also be allowed to return to work without having to undergo any disciplinary hearing. A 21-year-old man was remanded in custody tonight, charged with murder following the death of a two-year-old baby boy. Mark Nicholas Knowles from Whitehaven was also charged with maliciously causing grievous bodily harm to the child's mother. Police in Liverpool city centre have tightened up on illegal street traders. More than 50 illegal traders were arrested today, bringing the total this week to 130. The big stores have complained that the traders are becoming a nuisance and have asked for police help in cleaning up the streets for the big Christmas rush. And look at the region's weather now. A mild, cloudy night with temperatures around 11 Celsius, 52 Fahrenheit. There will be rain and possibly hill fog in the northern parts of the region and strong south to southwesterly winds that could reach gale force before morning. Tomorrow will start wet and cloudy but should brighten up by the afternoon. Temperatures will be lower than today's at around 8 degrees Celsius. That's 46 degrees Fahrenheit. The National Weather with Michael Fish. Good evening to you. There's a change in the weather on the way, but that doesn't mean I'm afraid that I can promise you anything nice for the weekend. In fact, far from it, it's just as uh, unsettled as ever. At the moment, we have this area of low pressure just brushing past uh, Northern Ireland. A mass of isobars packed in here, windy weather, of course, and these fronts are bringing outbreaks of rain. But it's this one that's going to bring the change, and that change is to somewhat uh, colder fresher, brighter weather. Now here's the band of bad weather at the moment, stretching right across Europe and disappearing down into the Atlantic. And when we have a look at the rain that's coming uh, along with that, you can see there's a lot of it over Scotland, stretching down over Ireland as well, and that area of low pressure hidden underneath it. Now when I run the sequence, you can see that the rain works its way down across the country during the course of uh, tonight and tomorrow, eventually getting to the southeastern corner. Much clearer weather following along behind, but the winds have shifted from the southwest into a more westerly point, so hence the reason why it's going to be somewhat cooler and fresher. Now there's a lot of rain around at the moment, especially over Scotland and Northern Ireland, some coming into northern parts of England and Wales, and over the Scottish mountains there's even some sleet and snow. But later on in the night in the southwest of Scotland and in Northern Ireland, the rain will ease off and be replaced by somewhat clearer and drier weather. Now a very mild night once again, quite a windy one, uh, 11 Celsius, 52 Fahrenheit, but uh, a fair bit colder in those northwestern parts. Tomorrow in the northwest, they're starting off bright with some sunshine, but over the rest of Scotland and many other northern parts of England and Wales, it will be a fairly wet start to the day. But by the end of the morning, much of Scotland, I think, will have brightened up, although uh, it's not going to be dry because there will be showers coming along as well. And by the afternoon, this brighter weather will have got into the more northern parts of England and Wales, the rain at the same time working its way down into the southeastern corner. And the showers, incidentally, by then, turning out to be quite heavy in that northern part of Scotland, some hail and thunder mixed in with them, sleet and snow too. Now in the south tomorrow it is going to be another mild day, 13 Celsius or 55 Fahrenheit, but in the more central and northern areas as it brightens up you're going to notice it turn a good deal colder. That's all, good night to you. The 40 minutes documentary on BBC Two Shortly provides a unique insight into Whitehall's fast stream selection process through which young applicants hope to be selected for grooming as the country's top civil servants. And in a few moments on BBC One, just good friends. Love is where you find it. Tomorrow, the first of a new series of Allo Allo. Everywhere. Madam Edith has an unusual voice for an A. Was it trained? Oh, yes. But it escaped and returned to the wild. <laughs> Endeavour always to be refined, madame, in my thoughts, my words, and my deeds. Hello, <laughs> hello, a new series starting tomorrow at 7.35 on BBC One. Listen very carefully. I shall say this only once. <laughs> Alola will be discussed tomorrow by Robert Kilroy Silk and his studio audience in Day to Day. Differing views on good and bad taste will be brought to light tomorrow morning at five past nine. 
In half an hour tonight, it'll be question time, but now Paul Nicholas and Jan Francis are set for some more lively debate in Just Good Friends. <laughs>